Two places. Healthcare, that means any place where they were using antibiotics. Or non-healthcare. Big difference. Two columns. If they're using antibiotics, healthcare. No antibiotics, that could be home. So no more community acquired versus hospital acquired. It's if they're using antibiotics, like being in a hospital. Okay? So if you tell me healthcare and I'm gonna ask you another important question, when's the last time that patient received any type of antibiotics? Okay? Why is that important? If they receive antibiotic, especially in the near future, in, in the recent past, you want to give completely the different changes, not change the antibiotic name, but change the class. So a quinolone, don't use a quinolone. Okay. With that being said, healthcare, you got to cover for MRSA, MRSA, resistant pneumococcus, pseudomonas and overall gram negatives. So the magic combination of their virgin, et cetera, or they haven't really antibiotics lately is Panko. It'll cover your MRSA, resistant pneumococcus. It'll also give you enterococcus coverage and also good gram negative, uh, gram positive coverage, along with, uh, like I said, enterococcus. Leviquin, Levo, gonna cover your pseudomonas, more coverage for pneumococcus. Now you're going to cover atypicals. St atypicals are still important, even though it's more common in non-healthcare acquired. Okay, and but if you're really seeking pseudo, you need two drugs. So levo or cefepime. So once again, we have cover for the gram negatives. Covers for pseudomonas. So that should be your basic combination. Now, what can we switch to? This could be a carbapenem. Could be piptazo, right? So, but what you, the key thing what though is needle or door to needle time. If the patient is coming through it, through from the outpatient setting, you have six hours to give the uh, correct antibiotics. If not, the patient will have the same mortality as if you use the wrong antibiotics. So it has to be the right antibiotics within six hours. Now, with that being said, the person who got it at one hour is gonna do better than the person that got two hours and so on. Healthcare, okay, non-healthcare, we're talking about pneumo, not so much resistance, regular pneumococcus, okay? The atypicals, which ones are the atypicals? Mycoplasma, Mycoplasma Legionella, Haemophilus influenza, even though Haemophilus influenza is not considered an atypical. Okay, so we want to cover for that. These are the main ones we're talking about. So Levo is going to give us pneumococcal coverage, atypical coverage. Levo is the same thing as using an azithro ceftriaxone combination. Gives you the same coverage of these two antibiotics. And as you know, recently acithro has been associated with prolonged QT syndromes, so arrhythmias, et cetera, especially in the elderly, which they may be already taking some antipsychotics or psychiatric meds which are already prolonged QT. So if you want fibromycin or doxycycline, that's a good uh, replacement for acithro. And you don't have the long QT problems. It also covers anaerobes. So it's a great respiratory drug. If a woman has PID or peptic, uh, sorry, uh, pe uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, it's a great drug for that. It's uh, twice a day PO. Levo is once a day IV or PO. So it's a, it's a great little drug. So, but the cool thing is not to ex expose the patient to the same antibiotic over and over. You wanna avoid resistance. If you can't use Vanco, which is unusual, you can use something like Linalzid, Zyvox, but we like to keep that in our back pocket for that's for 
for vanco resistant enterococcus. You can use daptomycin, that's a great drug for MRSA, but not if you're thinking of the lung. Daptomycin does not cross well into the lung barrier. Okay? Any questions? Yes? When would you use like Pitaz or Unison? That's a good question. Unison is great for the abdomen because basically Unison is, Unison is so back down. Okay? So Ampi is great for the abdomen and now you've just added an anti-beta-lactamase to make it better. So the abdomen, Unison is a great drug. Cover Penems are great drugs. Uh, uh, or Penems are great drugs for, for the abdomen. Augmentin is a great PO drug for upper as well as uh, lower. Diverticulosis, diverticulitis. Okay, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Okay, so this is the, ba the basic what you need to know about what and when to start an antibiotic. If you're in the hospital, you got one hour to deliver the correct antibiotic. If not, they go back to having the same mortality if you didn't use either the wrong antibiotic or you didn't get the right antibiotics at all. Okay, any other questions? All right, so a quick and dirty way to really get down to the antibiotic choice really quickly.